Welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install and set up Audacity in Windows 10. And you can also follow this tutorial if you're setting it up in other operating systems. It should be very similar. The first thing we need to do is go to the Audacity website. You can get there by clicking the link in the description of this video, or you can search Audacity and it should be the top link, but feel free to follow the link in the description if you're not sure. Now it's important that you follow what I do carefully as there's going to be some download buttons that might try and throw you off as there'll be adverts. But if you follow exactly what I do, you shouldn't run into any problems. If you're on the home page that looks like this, the first thing you want to do is go to the download audacity button you can see there highlighted. Click on that and you'll get the new page. Now you've got three options at the top where you want to choose the operating system that you want to download audacity for. So we'll go with the windows option. Now you should see the page that looks like this. It will show you the current version number and it's here where you need to follow the video carefully to make sure you download the correct file. Go down the page and find where it says Audacity 2.4.2 installer or whatever the current version is. It should be a blue link and it should probably be the top one as well. Click on that link to open up the download page. You can see we've got an advert on here that's trying to get us to download WinZip. We don't want to install that. You want to find the downloads list and it should say Audacity Windows Installer and it'll have the file size and the version as well. Click on that and it should start downloading. The file should be called Audacity-Win-2.4.2 or whatever the version number is. If it's not that file then you can just ignore it or delete it. Click on that and you'll now need to click yes in the user account control screen and then you'll see the select setup language window open up and this is the installer. First click OK once you've chosen the language and then click next. On the information page just click next again and now you need to choose the install location for Audacity. The default location should be fine. Click next and then you have the option to create a desktop shortcut and it's completely up to you if you want to choose this option. Click next again and then install. Allow Audacity to install to your computer. It shouldn't take too long. Once it's done, you'll have another information page. You can read that and then click next. Finally, click finish. If you want to leave the launch Audacity box checked, it will now launch Audacity once you've clicked finish. Now that we've got Audacity open, there are a few things we might want to do to make sure that we're set up and ready to go. The first thing we're going to do is set up our microphone to make sure it's ready to record. To do this, go to the sound settings. You can get there by right clicking on the sound icon within the taskbar and then going to open sound settings. In the sound settings, click the blue sound control panel link from the options on the right and you'll see the sound control panel open. When that opens, go to the recording tab. In the recording tab, make sure your microphone is set as default and that it is enabled. If you don't see your microphone, you can right click and select show disconnected and show disabled devices. Double click on your microphone to open up the properties window and go to the levels tab. You can change the level of your microphone in here. Feel free to make it what you want and you'll probably need to play around with it in Audacity as well. Now go to the advanced tab and select the quality. You can do that in the drop down box Make note of the number that is in Hertz, it's 48,000 for me, we're going to need to remember that when we go back into Audacity. In Audacity, go to Edit and then Preferences. In the Devices tab, you want to select your microphone in that box and make sure it's set to stereo or whatever you want it to be. In the Quality settings, you can change the default sample rate at the top to whatever your microphone's best quality is, so it's 48,000 for me. You can also change some of the other quality settings in here, depending on what you want. Click OK once you're happy with the settings, and then you're ready to hit record and start recording. And so that's how to install and set up Audacity in Windows 10. If you have any questions or video suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I hope you found today's video helpful. If you have, remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in another video.